This is Constitutional Conversations with Everett. Uh, in this series, I will be discussing facts, Bible verses, and the Constitution, mainly. I'm not, I'm going to try to not insert my own political opinions about anything, although I must warn you, I am a conservative, and so my way of explaining things may be biased a little bit conservatively, but I will try my best to stick to the Constitution as written, the facts, and the ultimate authority, the Bible. Please remember, if you like this video, just hit the like button and subscribe to be updated on everything that I'm talking about. So, I'm sure you've heard the news. Kids want to change. Kids want to, uh, you know, change the law. They want to ban assault weapons, ban what, whatever that is. I'm not discussing that in this video because I still, to this day, have no idea what an assault weapon is. There is no clear definition. It is a word and nothing else. If anyone can please tell me a clear definition of what an assault weapon is, please tell me. But as of right now, I have absolutely no idea what an assault weapon is. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. There is an assault rifle, which is a form of a machine gun, but those were banned in 1987, I believe. So, the only assault, the only thing that comes close to an assault weapon would be an assault rifle, which is a specific category of guns that were banned 30 years ago. Um, so, either the people pushing for assault weapons ban, either they're idiots and don't know they're already banned, or, which this is what it is, it's just a made-up word for any gun that looks scary. So, anyway. Um, so, you know, teenagers want to change the laws, they want to make all these guns illegal, put more restrictions and stuff. Um, I don't agree with that, but good for them, you know, good for taking initiative, good for getting into politics, trying to, you believe in something, you want to change something, you think there's a way to make the country better, you go out and do it, that's what these kids are doing. I do not agree with what they're saying at all, I don't agree with some of the tactics they're using to push their agenda, but this is America, they're free to do that, and so I do like it when people take initiative. So I applaud their uh, effort. Um, the only problem is, like I said, their tactics. They, you cannot make a law that is unconstitutional. The laws that they are pushing for are all unconstitutional because they infringe on the Second Amendment. You want to change laws about guns. What you need to do, instead of pushing for weapons bans, instead of trying to make laws to restrict guns and to restrict gun owners' rights, and all these unconstitutional laws that you want passed, instead, kids, go to your um, congressman and ask them to vote for an Article 5 Convention of States, go to your state governments, and rally and protest, and ask them to join the um, Convention of States movement. There are 30-something states already who have voted for, who are ready for a Article 5 Convention of States, where you would amend the Constitution. So, add amendments, change old amendments, change the wording. There's already 30-something states. We only need a couple more. If you kids really want this, you need to change the Constitution, change the Second Amendment's wording to say something so that you can make these laws, because right now you can't. It doesn't say that... So, the right of the people... It doesn't say the right of the people to keep and bear revolvers shall not be infringed. The right of the people to keep and bear shotguns shall not be infringed. The right of the people to keep and bear semi-automatic arms shall not be. It says the right of the people to keep and bear arms, any and all arms, shall not be infringed. So, 
any and all arms. Right now they're targeting assault weapons, basically just a few random groups of weapons. They're targeting specific weapons. They are infringing on the Second Amendment. So they need to go, like I said, get an Article 5 Convention of States and change the wording so that you're not making unconstitutional laws. Because right now they are pushing for very unconstitutional laws. This has been Constitutional Conversations with Everett. Please like or subscribe.